The holiday shopping season will start soon if it has not already for many people. And for some, it means shopping online, but that can be a risk. Thanks for joining us. I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Josh Rowe. This map you see behind us shows some of the reasons for those risks. The darkest areas have the best access to high speed internet. The lighter areas have less access. But put that data in another perspective. When you look at where the oldest Tennesseans live on this map, it's typically with less internet access, meaning people with less digital literacy, putting their private info on the web. And now as News Channel 9's Mary Beth Mangrum explains, there is a stronger push to get those older adults educated better for the web. Mary Beth. Josh, Latricia, Tech Goes Home is just one statewide program pushing for a higher rate of digital literacy. The Sycamore Institute says one group falling behind in that department is adults over the age of 60. But lacking some of these tools can create vulnerability for older users. This study on digital literacy for older adults by the Sycamore Institute says Tennesseans 60 and up made more than 1,500 complaints about digital fraud to the FBI in 2023. Knowing what to look out for when it comes to uh, scammers, phishing, and uh, other fraud like that will definitely help you not get got. Uh, our older folks who are not well equipped with technology are way more susceptible. But the Enterprise Center believes digital literacy skills could bring that number down. We go over internet safety, uh, internet security, uh, the importance of passwords, uh, the importance of watching out for fraudulent emails and text messages and other ways that uh, scammers try to fraud our people. But what does this fraud look like? So you may have an, an elderly individual they get a pop up on their machine says you have a virus or some malware uh, contact this number and we can get you some assistance. And in some cases, the amount of money lost can be devastating. You know, just the emotional trauma that they go through, the, the shame that they've lost this money, they've impacted their families. Um, you know, it, it's it's a huge burden both financially you know, and emotionally. According to the Sycamore Institute, adults 65 and up tend to have a lower or more fixed income than most Tennesseans. Wi-Fi and digital literacy are almost a basic utility like lights and water now. Through education, Tech Goes Home hopes to provide tools to help seniors be able to enjoy the convenience of online resources. Having doctor visits where they don't have to travel to and from, uh, hospitals, uh, th simple things like ordering and groceries online and teach them how to steer clear from ill intentions when you get into those ages it's very challenging to replace you know money that you've lost so if someone is soliciting you for money or offering investment opportunities and you've never met them in person you know the, the best advice i can give is to never send money you can visit techgoeshomecha.org to learn more about the programs and technology offered latricia Mary Beth, thank you. The FBI says tech support scams still create the most complaints and take the most money from elderly Americans. We'll post a link to their 2023 report in this story on newschannel9.com.